Hello, my name is Yijun. In this video, I will talk about marketing in crowdsourcing translation. Crowdsourcing translation is deeply dependent on the enthusiasm of the crowd. For large projects to be finished by volunteers, it is without doubt that you will need to spread the world to get enough people to sign up for the project. Therefore, marketing is essential when starting off a crowdsourcing translation. So to, start off, so to start off, you need to consider what your target market is and which group of people will be most likely to be interested in the project. For example, for games or entertainment companies, most of them will have a community or a group of fans who are, who are already dedicated to their products. So by spreading words to the community, those who are already interested will be glad to sign up and will tend to perform with better quality because they already know it very well. For companies in the academic area, they can reach out to students in college or scholars who are learning in that specific area. Many of them will also love to have this as an experience. Other than that, those with a higher education are often capable, capable of delivering translation works. As for software applications or those in the technical area, they can reach out to the loyal users around the world. A lot of local users most of the times are thrilled to have a version in their local language and this can be their motivation. When organizing a crowdsourcing translation project, there will often occur a series of different problems to make it possible. So it is important to have the solution when planning out the whole thing. If you're organizing an on-site translation, you will need to know that volunteers might be giving up their work time or spare time to come to the event. Therefore, it is better to arrange meetings on weekends or breaks to lower the sacrifice of time. You can also give them rewards to show your appreciation, like offering a student with credit reward to show that the time spent there is well spent. Another thing to consider will be the expenses, naming food, drinks, room reservations, traffic, lodging, parking, or even childcare. So that you your volunteers feel motivated to come over. This is better to help them solve these problems ahead of time. You can arrange suitable locations to help them save money or get in contact with cooperating companies, maybe even offering the companies a chance to promote their products. For online translations, it's possible that there is less enthusiasm than on-site translation projects, so it would be a good idea to build a forum or a platform for them to communicate with each other and feel the atmosphere. <laughs> to market for your product, you need to know what the product needs to promote. That is, what are people actually going to get from the product? Crowdsourcing translation can be interpreted as a volunteer work and when people are doing volunteer work, it is this feeling of satisfaction and accomplishment that is pushing them forward. Therefore, if you can show the translators how the translation will be put into use and make a difference to the world in the future, people will often feel more motivated to participate. Apart from the feelings, it is also a great chance for many people to have experiences in the field of translation. They might be thinking about opening up a new field for themselves, and this could be their stepping stone. So, to ensure the, translation, uh, the quality of the translation, many companies tend to give um, training to the newly recruited translators. If the training is attractive enough, it could also be something to attract people to sign in. Another thing will be networking. When a group of people are working for the same course, it will be a great chance to get to know the people 
that are interested in the same field with you and it will be easier to get to know people after um, clarifying what it is that you want to promote you also need to find the suitable way that there is word of mouth meaning you can reach out to the community schools and companies or existing volunteers to spread the news or get in contact with people you know that are qualified in this work references references by people who are close to you can often motivate motivate people to get on board for online you can send um, social media posts send out emails starting a website or send out advertisements this this can attract those who were already interested in the program since they're following you and it, you can use this uh, big data to promote the message to them another thing is that you can reach to the people who are living far away on the other side of the world so you will have a big bigger base of crowd if you are organizing an on-site translation or just doing the promotion inside of your office, there is also advertisements or posters that you can put up in the local area. Local radios and podcasts are also a great way to get in touch with the people who can actually come to the on-site event. But again, it is always wise to know that not all methods need to be put in use at the same time choosing the right methods that fits your products and your company can give you quick and best results. That is all. Thank you.